two miles on it. Hey, welcome back to Handlebar Garden. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a 2020 Road Glide Limited. Uh, be a one year review, feel a little better than a year. Tell you my likes, dislikes, and uh, what all I may or may not have done over the over this time. So stay tuned. My 2020 Road Glide Limited. Uh, got around 1,100 or 11,500 miles or so, give or take. Might have a little more than that. But anyway, had it a little over, a little over a year. And I'm going to kind of just show you what I've done to it and why I've done it. So uh, I guess I'll just start with the, with the front up here. I guess the first thing I changed on it that, that I remember uh, is a windshield. Had a clear windshield on it, and it was probably, I don't know, it was tall, and I just didn't like looking through it. And uh, got this one here. It's a uh, wind vest, uh, I believe it's 12 inch. Works just fine. It's the only one I put on it. Uh, I knew from the past what, how to measure and all that. Check out one of the other videos on how to measure for a windshield. Uh, should help you out. Excuse the way uh, it's dirty. Uh, we uh, we ride, so don't clean it all the time. Uh, and some little things uh, changed the uh, handlebars. Uh, I didn't like the original handlebars; they're too low and kept my wrist bent. So these are Twin Peaks, uh, 16 inch. Uh, they work just fine. Uh, we got another video on measuring for your handlebars and whatnot. Of course, you got your little throttle rocker thing here uh, cup holder and all that and the camera gear uh, added this little pouncing thing uh, been in some good weather so it's kind of getting a little uh, worn so I don't know if I take it off I don't know if I'll replace it or not uh, uh, this bike uh, at about 5,000 miles went to stage 2 and uh, went with the, kept the original style breather. Uh, I, I just like, I like the looks of it, so I left it like that, kind of a sleeper version. Uh, dyno did uh, 100 horsepower and 121 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Uh, that was with the torque, uh, all Scream Eagle parts. Uh, uh, torque cam is what I put in it. Uh, Added, of course, things like this. Uh, drink holder for her. Uh, added, uh, there's a video on, on installing these. Uh, she wanted those, so we got those. Uh, she has a cushion out there to change the seat. Fixing to go buy another seat, or looking to. Kind of trying to figure it out right now. We'll post the video on that when I do. Uh, and uh, these covers here. Uh, smoked all the lights out, tail light, uh, Bassani DNT pipes, uh, slip ons. Uh, like those real well. Uh, it's got a real deep, throaty sound. You see, I might be able to fire it up. And, and, uh, I know probably won't do it justice, but. <laughs> That's a cold start, so it'd have to warm up, but it does. Uh, it's got a real deep, it's not, it, it's loud, but it's more in your chest. You can feel it. It's, it's deep. Change the uh, antenna, got rid of that. Uh, of course, these highway pegs, uh, put those on. LED lights, uh, LED lights in the front, turn signals. 
out of this bra. Uh, come around to this side, maybe. And a lot of this stuff I, we got videos on. I had these chrome inserts. Of course, this one's uh, our water cold. So, uh, the lights here. Change. Put those in. And uh, they work real well. So, I like how they, they kind of get some attention. So, uh, that works out good. Uh, on this side, basically... Uh, change up pegs and whatnot now, now if you'll if you can get in here and see this i've got a shorter one here and a longer one there and you can see the wear that i put on this versus the heel and i moved these i moved these out an inch and uh so uh i i'm in a hunt for something about that long because i don't need that would open this up some but uh and we've got a video talking about the shifter the yep. heel and the toe heel toe shifter yep so uh that's pretty much it uh, as far as uh what, what we've done to it uh now some of the dislikes and we'll go over here mike you want to uh, uh some of the dislikes that when i got it which i i i told you the windshield and, and the handlebars it just what the handlebars was wasn't that comfortable to me and the seat wasn't that comfortable either. It kept putting me up on the tank like, and I, I, I just wasn't comfortable. And I guess my biggest complaint, well, I'm not I'm not fond of the clutch, the hydraulic clutch. And I'm sure sooner or later they'll come out with a kit because they went back to, to cable clutch. I, I, I like, I'm just not a big fan of it, but we'll see. There's a reason they went back. So, you know, that tells me something too. But I guess my biggest complaint is on this bike is right here. This hole right here. And I didn't realize this. It wouldn't, it's not a, I wouldn't, that I wouldn't have one. When air comes through that radiator, it comes out right here. Well, I had my highway pegs up here at one time where I'm comfortable. And it will absolutely torch your leg. And that's the biggest thing that's why my that's why they're lower uh I, I just can't i just can't stand the heat that comes out of it i don't know why they were it wasn't designed to go out the bottom or nothing I, I don't know but that's my biggest complaint about this uh road glide and uh very few complaints about it done uh the services have been kept up i've had zero issues in, in, with anything uh Everything's uh, worked just the way it's supposed to, and uh, I've heard people complain and this and that about this and that and M8. Well, I'm here to tell you, I love it. I've had uh, Evo, I've had Twin Cam, I've had uh, M8, and I and the, the, to me, the the M8 kind of goes back to the Evo. I'm an Evo lover, and it, it goes back to the Evo. So. Uh, Anyway, that's my review. Uh, I just looking down. I changed this gas cap too, but uh, lid. But that's 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 pretty much it. I highly suggest if you uh, if you want one, go get it. Uh, of course, it's got heated grips. Uh, I, I never had heated grips before, so I got this one. And the original, it had heated grips originally. And uh, when I changed the handlebars, uh, I went ahead and uh, got the heated grips. Uh, they are quite expensive, but once you've had heated grips, man, oh man, it, it would be, it, it'll spoil a man. You know, I will say I am spoiled. So, uh, but this is my road line. And if you've got any questions or whatnot, leave us a comment below and uh, we'll our best answer and honestly and the best we can um, we don't know everything but uh, what we do know we don't mind sharing you know so uh, hope this helps you out in some way be sure to subscribe to our channel like it and I know that I'm gonna come up with something else later but maybe we'll do another review some on down the road uh, we appreciate y'all watching stay tuned for more